Volkswagen is bringing this concept car, the ID Code, to the Beijing Auto Show. Now, it doesn't preview any one particular model, rather a whole new look and design for the brand. And to talk me through it, Andy Mintz, head Hi. of Volkswagen Design. Hi, Dave. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. There's a lot to talk about nice here. To meet you. This is your new baby, yeah. your new concept car, yes. your latest concept car. Yeah. The ID code, as I said, it's not any particular model. No. It's a lot of models. Uh, we, you see or you can discover a lot of elements, a lot of design values that we developed uh, for Europe on one side and for China especially as well. So some elements are special China elements and some of them are European elements. So we have a mix here. And uh, because, you know, Volkswagen needs to be recognizable around the world. But then, of course, for the markets, we do a special design. And obviously China is one of the biggest markets yes, in the is. world. Yeah. So it is, you've got three joint venture partners there. So obviously yes. it's hugely important to Volkswagen. Yeah. And this does look very different. We've had yeah. a whole generation, whole family of ID models. Yeah. But this now seems to move that on. And this isn't really anything to do with ID. Is this something yeah. a little bit more advanced? Exactly. Uh, it goes one step further. We did show a year ago the ID2 All, yeah, which was the first step. And now this is, if you want, the second step. We go one step further. And um, yeah, when you look at the Chinese market or the customers, they're very interested in technology and progressive design. And so this is what we died up here, especially for the market. And there is a lot of technology in this yes. car. This yeah. is really going to preview yeah. the future. There's talk yeah. of all sorts of level four autonomous driving and things like that. So there's a lot of different features here, but maybe we can talk through, we'll start kind of around the front yeah. here, okay. and then maybe we'll go yeah. around the car. Yeah. So obviously the first thing I notice is A, these, all these lighting here, yes. yeah. but it's a very kind of, yeah. It's not, there's no sharp edges, there's no sharp lines. This isn't a harsh design. Yeah, no, it's not. It's, it's a friendly design because we are Volkswagen. Yeah, we are the nice guys. Yeah, this is our super duper is being nice. So it is not attacking anybody. It's not aggressive, but it has ambitious, you know. And when you look at the bonnet, for instance, you have one sharp line here connecting the bonnet with the side panel. But at the same time, the bonnet itself is lower. Yeah, and then the fender is higher. And that's very entertaining when you drive the car. Yeah, you see the yeah, outside you, body panel. You can panels. really see, you can imagine exactly. sitting inside, seeing yeah. the tops of those wheel yeah. arches. Yeah. And the wheel arches themselves are, they really do stand out in yes. this car, both yeah. in the width, yeah. but also yeah. this line here, this crease. Yeah. This is something that you really wanted to exactly. put into the car, into the design. Yes, th this is something that we want to use globally as well to say we have a uh, pronounced track. Yeah, So we, we, we make a slim body, we move all the um, uh, volume inside the car and then pull the track out of it and emphasize the wheel arches, emphasize the tires, and then you have a very powerful car. We say in Europe, stable, yeah, but the name in China is Vigorious, and this is like a powerful and strong. That's the stance of the car. That's a basic proportion, and I think that works really well, let's yeah, say. I mean, you've got a huge 24-inch wheels yeah, on so it. That helps a lot. <laughs> you are enormous. I know, You're I know right. you yeah. car designers love big wheels, but 24-inch yeah. wheels. Yes. That. But there are some elements in these wheel designs yes. which... Yeah. You can see it runs yeah. through both from the yeah. front here with these yeah. these kind of grooves. Yeah. So there it's is form and function at play here. Exactly, yeah. We we put the, all the patterns that we have around the car have the same shape yeah, to make it match uh, because then it's not a mix of patterns. But the reason is here we have a, a lightweight structure for the basic wheel and then we are adding these panels here to make it aerodynamic at the same time. That's what you want from a wheel. Yeah, so it should these, be light. These yeah. inserts are going to add a few more kilometers to your range. And exactly, all yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. The, the outside matters more uh, yeah. on a wheel design and that is doing um, yeah, improving the mileage. Yeah. And obviously when we see the car kind of in side profile, yeah. We get a, a, a sense of the scale, so it's just yeah. under five meters, this yes. car. So it is, yeah. you know, it, yeah. it's a big car. Yeah. Um, but the way you've treated the side then, you've got a very deep cut in here. You've got yes. that kind of pattern yeah. as well. Yeah. Obviously you've got rear yeah. hinge doors as yes. well. Yeah. But it's a very, I don't want to call it a coupe-like profile, but yeah. it's, it's mm. definitely sportier. Yeah. 
but then you see these huge rear haunches. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Just like the front wheel, we have the same design for the rear as well to make it match, and it gives this power in the rear as well. And uh, yeah, you're right, it's, uh, it's all one piece all together, it's matching together. And the, the rear end, I would not name it CUV, and I would not name it, would rather name it SUV, you know, because it has a lot of space inside, but there is a very, let's say, aerodynamic rear end, uh, it's uh, the comeback, yeah, is, is the professional name for yes, that, yeah? Yes, yeah. Maybe you remember yes. this. But that is uh, our version of that, and that could build uh, its own character. One of the features I really like is this C yeah. pillar as well. It really gives it that kind of sporty look towards yes. the air, you know, the way the roof gently slopes all the way down. Yeah. And mm -hmm. obviously it means you've still got plenty of room inside. But around the back, yeah. you've got, I guess, a further interpretation of these kind of coast to coast lights, these light bars that we exactly, see. Exactly, yeah. Well, it wraps yeah. right away yeah. around here. Yeah. yeah. Well, what we want to give it is character as well, you know, coast to coast is interrupted in the middle for the VW badge. Mm -hmm. And then we have uh, body paint all around, you know, to make it really clean and, and sober, you know, that everything looks, looks very clean and, and updated. Yeah? That, that is the look. But at the same time, you, you read the rear haunches from the rear. When you stand back, you can see both of them in one perspective. Yeah, so that is the, the stance. When, yeah. Right from, when you look at the car, right from the back, you can really see yeah. these kind of curves, how, yes. how it comes yeah. out and really kind of gives yeah. it that, that kind of Haunt, you know, those haunches, that yes, kind of planted yeah. feel. Yeah. When and you walk around the car, you see it in the rear and in the front, and it matches together. Yeah. yeah. Is there any one aspect of this car that maybe, I don't yeah. want to ask you, it's like asking what your favorite child is, but yeah. is there any one aspect of the design that you really love or you really like that stands out? Yeah, I mean, the, the proportion I like a lot, yeah. yeah. It's, um, you know, we have a really strong chassis from SUV, proper wheels, a lot of energy in the sill. And then we have a very, very sleek and slim um, head on top of that, mm. yeah. So that is really slim and aerodynamic and, and really elegant if you want, but the bottom is the opposite, yeah. And that combination could be really interesting for the customer because you, as a result, you have a very elegant car, but at the same time, um, you have a lot of uh, range, yeah, because you, you combine things that are usually a contradiction. But here it makes a lot of sense, I believe. And I do like as well that it is, I know it's a concept car, but. Yeah. You mentioned that there are aspects of this that this isn't some flight of fancy thing. This is, yeah. although it doesn't preview any one model, yeah. this is something that we're going yeah. to start to see yeah. ingredients of in exactly. future models. Yeah. Th that is our aim here. Yeah, What we show here, you will see, discover in all the future portfolio, if you want. It's going to be everywhere. And... Uh, we, we want to catch some feedback here. We, we want to show it to the public to see whether it's successful then in the future, yes so or no. Want, so you want feedback. So everyone watching this video, we, yes. want, we want to know what you think. Andy yeah. needs to know yeah, what please. you think about yeah. this. I will read all the comments, <laughs> I promise. <laughs> okay, but, but there's a lot of other features in this car as well, including some really amazing stuff inside. One feature that you will not expect this to have and a lot of technology, including level four. So let's go have a look at that. Now, lighting is very important, as we mentioned a little bit earlier in the video. And joining me is Cuckoo, who is the UX designer. So you have a bit of an insight. You're going to show us through how this car, how the lights will work, but more so how it interacts with people and, and how it interacts with its owners. So maybe we can go through and experience exactly what this thing is capable of. Exactly. Um, actually, we have uh, the idea to uh, greeting our customers um, with four season animation. Um, I will show the one of them to have a, to give a feeling. So when you come out to your car in the morning, this will, as you're walking up to it, this will sort of give you a, a kind of a good morning welcome. Yes, um, the car look to you and greeting you and uh, uh, smile to you and just uh, um, give you the information. And uh, now it's spring. The spring is coming. Okay. So um, sometimes it's like this. Um, you still have the, um, the weather not so warm uh, in the um, late uh, winter uh, or the, at the beginning of the spring. But um, um, you go to your car and your car greeting you already with uh, a spring animation and you know, oh, the spring is there. So it's something like a um, surprise. 
Or so even on a, if it's a dark grey morning, you're yeah, still yeah, gonna, yeah, it's exactly. going to cheer you up a little bit when you've got to yeah. get in and, and drive yeah. to work or do whatever. Lighting is obviously about function, but it's also increasingly about form. Yes. And you talked about how the car can use light to communicate with its owners, but also mm -hmm. this is going to be equipped with level four autonomous driving and it needs to communicate with other drivers. Yeah. How does the ID code do that? I will show you it first. So, and uh, exactly uh, the idea is uh, we want to really give the uh, other um, drivers um, a safety feeling that uh, the car is smart and the car recognizes them. So it's really a safety feeling. So they'll be able to see, we have this kind of uh, turquoise color here on, on, on the radar. We can see it up top here, mm -hmm. but it's actually every, well, it's kind of all throughout the whole car. So I guess any angle that somebody on the road sees, when they see this color, that means sure. that the car knows they're there, the car is driving, mm -hmm. and they don't have to worry about it, right? Sure, <laughs> and you will see um, not only on the front, it's also in the rear, we have this is also in the lighting, this 3D lighting to uh, both, uh, really a move dynamic, so um, you, you will recognize this directly that the car is now in the autonomous driving mode. Uh, and obviously that is also, a, it makes it very visible, but these aren't just lights, these are obviously, obviously mm -hmm. highlighting all the mm -hmm. different sensors and arrays and all the technology that it needs. That's pretty impressive, but there's one other feature that this has, which is an avatar, a built-in avatar. So it's mm -hmm. taking the idea of an assistant, but moving it on a step further. How does that look? How does that work? I'll show you this now. So the idea is that if you're close to your car and the um, avatar pops up and greeting you directly with uh, some important information, um, she will remind you, for example, um, today's weather is uh, really great and uh, don't forget the sunscreen if you are hanging out, <laughs> something like that, or some um, information about uh, battery or uh, uh, just a small checklist uh, that you um, uh, you, you pre-set it uh, in the last night uh, in your phone. So it's like having a proper assistant. A little yes. reminder not to forget something yeah. or make sure something reminds you that you need to pick something up on exactly. the way. So um, the, the avatar will uh, greeting you really friendly and um, uh, she doesn't need to give too much information. Uh, she prepared a car for you, uh, just open the door after the greeting and the reminder and you can get into the car and everything is prepared. So it's like having a proper assistant just to remind you yes. that most important thing that you don't forget something. Exactly. That's, that's, uh, that's a whole other level of, of mm -hmm. assistance. That's pretty interesting. Yeah. That's the outside, but there's a lot to talk about on the inside. Now, I can't open the inside of the car to show you what it's like, because it's still just a concept car, but I do have Jan, who's the interior designer, to talk a little bit about what it's like on the inside, and we'll show you a couple of different pictures and things like that as we talk about it. So, we ran through this a little bit earlier. This has a pretty lounge-like interior, the materials that it has, the seats. What's the kind of overall concept and the approach that you took in designing it? So for the car, we have a two plus two interior. We have two seats in the front row, two seats in the back row. Uh, in level four mode, you can turn the front seats so that you can have a face-to-face -face situation in the car to have a little uh, conversation and uh, like a, like a quality time together. Uh, but the coolest feature is when, when you're done after eating and stuff and when everybody's gone, then there comes our little Lupo, our little cleaning robot, and he cleans up the whole mess which you left and your kids. So. This, I think this is the most amazing feature I've seen in a concept <laughs> car. So this is what I was talking about earlier, the feature that you never expect. Hmm. This car has its own vacuum cleaner built yes. in that works itself when you get out of it. With its own garage and place and stuff. But we also have uh, normally uh, the, the usual function in the car. We have the, the light, which you've seen in the exterior. Um, we have it prominently in the, in the roof of the car. So you can have the same effects which you have with the, uh, with the ex exterior light. You can have it on the inside. 
so you can have different moods. You can uh, um, push the st st um, standard consoles around uh, so that you can generate different scenarios for you. And uh, the steering wheel collapses away so that you can generate more space. Yes, yeah. Obviously, if you have it in your autonomous driving mode, you exactly. don't need the steering wheel, and it's this kind of yoke steering wheel. It just mm -hmm. slips away into yes. the dashboard. And obviously, you've still got so, uh, you know a lot of displays happening as well. So you have these kind of portrait mm -hmm. style display for both front and rear, but then you have this very gorgeous design that wraps all the way around. Yeah, we have a digital decor, we call it. Um, it's kind of meant to be a uh, shy tech, like uh, hidden in the, in the front, but it's also like high tech, of course. And uh, we managed to find out the, the compromise between TikTok and YouTube. So you have for the TikTok, you have in the vertical uh, area and YouTube, you can watch on the horizontal area on the front. There's zero compromise for your zero. social media. <laughs> Not at all. But all, also, which is like a, a good uh, Chinese approach or a Chinese demand is um, people in China really like to uh, use voice control. So you can control everything by voice control and you get the assistance of the avatar inside as well, of course. It's a pretty interesting concept inside. It looks fantastic. It looks like the sort of thing I'd want to spend hours <laughs> sitting in as well. The seats look super, super comfy. A lot of space inside. It's going to be very interesting to see how much of this we start to see in future models, but hopefully we will see a little Let, bit more of that. Let's see. So that's our first look through this pretty interesting Volkswagen ID code concept car. Who knows whether we'll see something like this in the future or indeed how soon we'll see it. If you want to know more about it, head over to our website. It's completecar.ie and it's linked in the description below. It's a great resource for finding your next new car and keeping up to date with the latest car news. We'd also love to know what you think about it. So do get involved in the comments below. We really do enjoy reading all your feedback. In the meantime, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.